Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. Swifty and today we are doing our zoo tour. Very exciting. We're going to see all of our animals. We've got baby animals in every single enclosure at the moment, which I'm very excited about. And I have just turned off aging, so I'm hoping that none of them will age up whilst we're doing the tour, um, which would be great. So, yeah, we're going to be touring our dedication zoo today. If you haven't seen any of these build videos, I will put a link right here. Um, there'll be a playlist of all the build videos that we've done for this zoo if you want to have one of your animals in this zoo if you want me to build you an exhibit in this zoo then please let me know in the comments down below what animal you would like me to build a habitat for and any ideas you have for the habitat please put that in the comments I would love to add you to our zoo so every single one of these exhibits is dedicated to somebody who uh, watches the video, supports the channel, whatever, has commented to say that they would like a video. So this is our sort of entrance way. This is where the guests spawn in and we've got our gates here. And we come into this nice welcome sign with our little flower booth here. And we've just got some vendors and things around here. So, you know, some food and drinks and toilets and things. That door over there is where the staff um, buildings are. We've got like the vet veterinary service and, you know, everything like that over there. And this side we've just got more vendors, got some information booths, more toilets and stuff like that. So we've got these nice windows that give us a nice view out to the zoo, a little, a little taste of what's coming. So let's head on out and come and see our entranceway. So it's quite busy at the zoo today, I'm afraid. Hopefully we're not going to get uh, ambushed by too many guests. But this is our entrance where we've got this nice little um, lake feature here with our fountain and our nice flowers. Um, and we've got some sort of trees. This is what the entrance way looks like. We just got the dedication zoo sign over there. And yeah, this over here is our capuchin monkey habitat, which is where we're going to start. So we're going to head on over to our capuchin monkey habitat. This habitat is dedicated to David. David, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, yeah, you're amazing. Thank you so much. And um, I hope you I hope you like it. I don't know. Obviously, we built this quite a long time ago. This was one of the first habitats that we did. Um, but yeah, I think it's still pretty great. We've got quite a few monkeys around. So there's a little, I think that's a baby as well. I think there's a little baby capuchin monkey there. Hello, having a little sleep. So we're going to spot hopefully quite a few of them. Like I say, there are a lot of animals in this um, habitat at the moment. So they've got this nice big tree house. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, you're floating. There you are. Hello. They love running along the ropes along the side of the, uh, the walkways here. Uh, but they do have this sort of tree house that they can go up to if they want to get a bit of space from all the guests because this is obviously a walkthrough enclosure so you know we've got our information boards but the, the animals are literally just here with the guests so if they do want a bit of space they can go up there and the guests can't get up there obviously so like i say they love sort of running along the um ropes you can see a bunch of them over here every time i come over to find them they've like disappeared there's one hello this would be so much fun i think this habitat to come and visit because literally you're like walking right amongst them so hello hi hi capuchin monkeys all the monkeys here are called david or doris <laughs> um named after david who obviously this habitat is dedicated to again thank you so much david and this is their little um they've got a little area up here that they can sleep they've got some toys to play with hello hi that's definitely a baby one i think hi him he's so sweet yeah there's lots of babies in here at the moment um i did have to refresh <laughs> refresh i had to get some new monkeys because uh our monkeys were getting a bit old so some of them died some of them we um sold off to go live somewhere else and spend their their you know elderly years somewhere a little bit more casual and calm than here but i think this habitat's really cool i really like it so before we head out i had a fun fact for you did you know that capuchin monkeys are named so because they look like little spanish capuchin monks um because they have like their white faces and the dark brown robes and hoods on their heads and that's why they're called capuchin monkeys i didn't know that i thought that was pretty cool so let's head on out now you can see we've got the bengal tiger habitat over there we'll come to that last i think um, next up we've got our red panda habitat so let's head on here we're probably gonna decapitate some guests on our way but you know that's fine so yeah you can see that the terrain sort of changes become this sort of mountainous area with our nice cherry blossom trees and I love this view of the temple there so that is actually part of the red panda habitat which you'll see in a minute um, that they can kind of climb on um, but before we get to the habitat itself we've got down here we've got panda pavilion which is our little um, 
pavilion where they've got some food shops and things in here. I won't show you inside because it's not really decorated inside. Oh no! I still got a yellow window! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to fix that. I keep forgetting to come in and fix that. Oh! Wow, so many guests here, they're getting stuck. So, <laughs> this is like the little food court area. There's just a few things to eat and things in there, but um, it's a nice little space for guests. So let's head on up the stairs. And we'll go and meet our red pandas. We have got some red panda babies at the moment. Here we are, there we are. Look, there they are. Red, we've got uh, Jamie and Chelsea, and we've got, I think, three babies. I thought there were three. So maybe there's another one hanging around, but there's obviously two over there. We might just head into their habitat in a minute um, to get a better view of them. But for now, uh, we'll head, we'll stay on the path for now. So this is their sort of temple habitat, and they can get, like I say, basically to every level. They love climbing around, so um, maybe if we come back later, we'll see them climbing. At the minute, it appears they're having a nice snack with their enrichment items. Hello! Hi! They go, right. Um... Yeah, let's quickly just head down and we'll go and see if we can go into their habitat through the keeper's entrance to get a bit better view of them. So, this is the way that the uh, keepers go wrap around here. Yeah, uh, and obviously the lion habitat is accessible from this way as well. Is that the entrance? Yeah, that's the entrance up here. Oh, no, no, here we go. So, here we are. This is their habitat. Hi! Hello, little. Oh my gosh, they're playing. Hello? Are you playing? Oh, they're so sweet. And can you hear that noise that they're making? So apparently, another fun fact, red pandas, apparently the noise that they make is called twittering or tweeting. Like they tweet. Can you guys hear it? I might amplify it if you guys can't hear it in the, in the video. But yeah, apparently it's called twittering, which I did not know. And I thought that was quite interesting. So... I thought there was a third one, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, yeah, I can't see a third one. So, you guys gonna climb at all today? No? No climbing? You're just hanging out back here? Feeling a bit chill? Okay. So, let's head back round and we're gonna head to the lions. So, actually, since we're here, maybe we should just go into the habitat first, get a view of the lions, and then we can go and see what the guests see in a moment. So, we'll go up there in a minute which is one of the viewing areas but for now let's head in this way so we can get a good view of our lions oh we've got a little cub here straight away now jeremy has been incredibly fertile <laughs> i'm not gonna lie there's a lot of cubs here so this is obviously one of them let's see if we can find any of the other cubs so let's head this way shall we hello hi oh look there's another cub over here hi hello oh sorry that was a bit far Hello! Oh, he's so sweet! Hi! Hello! He looks like Simba, doesn't he? So sweet. And then obviously we've got some more over here. We've got a lioness here. And then we've got another cub. Another couple, couple over here. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Take a quick screenshot there. Oh, so sweet. Right, and let's also head up into Pride Rock. So this is Jeremy's habitat. This habitat is dedicated to Jamie, Jeremy. Oh, I think I forgot to say that the previous one was dedicated to Jamie and Chelsea. Although I did say that they were called Jamie and Chelsea. So this one is dedicated to Jeremy. There's our safari ride that goes through here. And he asked for Pride Rock. So here's Pride Rock. Let's head on in. We'll go see. I bet there's a bunch of them inside because I don't know where else they would be right now. Yeah, here they all are. So we've got, oh my gosh, more cubs. Four more cubs in here. We've got three lionesses. And then we've got Jeremy over here. Let's even get a better view of Jeremy. Hi. You are a very fertile young man, aren't you? Yes, clearly. What is that, like seven cubs now? Loads of cubs. So they like it in here. This is the sort of like warm area. They can come and have a little sleep. They're all sleeping right now. So they'll feel a bit tired. Um, yeah, so let's head back out. We're going to have a go on the safari ride in a minute. But we're just going to head over and see um, where the guests can see the lions from. Because I want you to kind of get an idea of, of what they can see. see. As you can see, it's a very busy zoo. So this is one of the viewing points. We've got some um, one-way glass down here. Obviously, you can't see any of them at the moment because they're just not in this area. So it's quite a good spot to see them when they're playing on the rocks and things. And then up here is the other viewing area, which is obviously ideal. You can get a really good view of the lions from up here. But you can't really see into the Pride Rock unless you're on the safari ride. And even then, to be honest, it's not an amazing view. I tried to try my best. but uh... Anyway, this is our safari station. 
Lion Safari Station. I think it's really cool. The next um, video we're going to be doing after this tour is going to be an Indian elephant habitat, which is going to be dedicated to Emma. Thanks, Emma, for supporting the channel. Um, and I'm hoping that we'll extend the safari so it goes through the elephant uh, exhibit as well, because I think that'll be pretty cool. So let's jump the queue and let's go. Let's head on over and um, have a go on uh, uh, having a go on one of these safari rides. So oh no no no! All right, off we go. Off we go, here we are. Oh look, oh, it is a good view because it's feeding time. Look at that, oh my gosh, what an amazing view of the tigers. <gasps> Not tigers, lions, what am I talking about? And then there's more up there, they're having a nice foodies. Hello, hello lioness, lovely, oh my goodness. Wow, very cool. And there's Jeremy running along. Oh my goodness, it's a great view. They're having a great time. So this is the um, little archway they go up over here and you can see Fried Rock on the left here. Like I say, they're all actually going and eating now. So I don't think there's anybody in there right now, but you can get a little bit of a view of it there uh, if they are inside. And yeah, this is a pretty cool ride, I think. I think some of the guests think it's a bit boring because it's quite short, but um, obviously, like I say, if we extend it to the elephant habitat, then that will make it a lot better. All right, so we've just come off the safari over here and we're going to head this way. This is going to be um, after our elephant enclosure. This will be the next video. We're going to be building a food court. I may even do it off camera, to be honest. I don't know how much you guys want to see that. But if you do want to see that, let me know in the comments down below if you'd be interested in seeing me build a food court area. It'll probably be African themed to go with the lions and what will be the elephants probably over there somewhere. Um, but let, for now, let's head on through. We're going to head to the next habitat, which is our snow leopard habitat. So we've got a little staff area over here and then this way we've got our snow leopards so let's head on in the snow leopards recently had a cub as well so we'll get to see that hello hi so i think these are the two adults and i think maybe the baby is over there in the water let's go in and see hello hi so this is a little baby boy snow leopard cub He's, um, struggling to get out of the pool right now there he is hi so sweet this habitat is dedicated to hannah um and the snow leopards are hannah and chris and then we've got this little boy who we haven't named yet um it's just currently got like the default name they gave him um so yeah very sweet they seem to really like this habitat it is an ice palace um there's lots of things for them to do there is some outside area as well and then they've got this um bridge over here that they can run up and go down the other side so let's have a look so you can go up here you see oh hello are you coming i don't know if that's chris or hannah it's probably chris because he's running hannah seems to like to walk most places <laughs> so here we are this is the other side they've got a little sort of sleeping area and lots of fun things so yeah these are our snow leopards hello they're obviously oh can you hear them i think that's the baby snow leopard where is he did he come over? I heard him. There he is. Oh, so sweet. Hello. Hi. Oh, cute little call he's got there. So this is another sort of walkthrough habitat. Obviously, they're not walking into the habitat. Um, and the, the snow leopards climb over the, the path. But it's a really good, um, like, the, the guests can get a really good view of the animals so i think that's pretty cool i really like this habitat it's obviously icicles everywhere because it's an ice palace so yeah i've got a snow leopard things let's head on out and we'll just have a quick look at the other side as well so that's what it looks like from this side um i think it's pretty cool i'm pretty happy with how it turned out so this is our pathway through to the nile monitor habitat so we're going to head in and see them next they've also been having lots of bevies very um proficient well done david and doris uh, this habitat is also dedicated to Doris, the same, uh, sorry, to David, not Doris, David, who um, is also the one who the Capuchin Monkey habitat is dedicated to. He actually bought me two packs for Christmas. He's my brother, so that was very kind of him, so I decided to build him two habitats. So you can see our Nile monitors over here having a nice little swim, enjoying the water. They're very cute. Yeah, lovely. And did you know that Nile monitors are the longest lizards in Africa? They can grow up to 2.1 meters long and they can also remain underwater for up to an hour, which is pretty cool. Looks like one of them's coming up to say hello. Hello. That's a good view, isn't it? Wow. Hello. Hi. Hi. 
Like I said, David and, and Doris have been very proficient. I think they've got like five little babaloos now. So maybe we'll just head in and see if we can see some more of them. Maybe there must be... Some of them must remain, but some of them must be on the other side. Hello. Very nice. So that's the Nile Monitor habitat. We've only got one habitat left, which is our Bengal tigers. And we've got our tiger tree houses to see, which you guys seem to really like that video. So again, if you want to see any of these videos, I will be linking them um, here in the video. If you want to go and look, watch that playlist, there's a whole playlist of uh, all the build videos we've done. This is our little Nile Monitor um, statue that I made out of rocks, because there's not really any decorations in the game for the Nile Monitors. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty good. Let's head on, let's head on into the Bengal tiger habitat through the staff entrance first so we can get a good view of the tigers and then we'll go up and see where the guests can see. Um, just so we can get, oh hello, look he's up there. Um, and like I said, we have already, we have got a Bengal tiger cub, we've got cubs and uh, babies in every single habitat. Daryl and Jeremy are actually elder, elderly now, but they did manage to conceive another cub. So here's our little cub. Hi. It's a little boy cub. Hi. 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 You're so cute. You're so cute. Here he is. Walking along. Very sweet. Oh, They're so fluffy and orange, aren't they? So sweet. So yeah, this is uh, our little tiger cub we've got. And then we've got uh, Daryl and Jeremy are our tigers. So they're really sweet. I'm... Oh, look, they're playing. Oh, they're so sweet. And fun fact about the Bengal tigers. Did you know that adult tigers can run up to 65 kilometers an hour? And they can eat more than 27 kilograms of meat in one sitting. Which is like nearly half what I weigh, which like that's a lot in one sitting. One sitting. Yeah, there's our little tiger cub. Oh, he's coming to the light. Oh, so beautiful. Uh, hi. Hi, little tiger cub. So sweet. Okay, so let's go out and just see what the guests can see because they've got this really cool tree house uh, bit that they go up. Ooh, came up a pop it there. Uh, up here, so this is our tiger tree houses exhibit. So we'll come up here. We've got this really cool um, tree house. I think it's we've got a really good view of the rest of the park as well. There's lovely big windows, and you can see all the other habitats as well. And the tigers really do like to climb up on these um, tree houses over here. So it's usually a really good spot to see them. We've also obviously got their food up here to encourage them to come up here as well. But um, yeah, it doesn't look like any of them are climbing right now. It looks like they're all chilling downstairs. But um, like I say they do usually like to climb up here a lot. There's another one. Ooh. There he is. You can't really see him through the glass pane. But yeah, I really like this habitat as well. I think it's a really cool um, area. So let's head back out to the entrance. Um, that is basically it for today's video, guys. Like I said, if you want me to build you a habitat to go in this do, please let me know. We've got this big space over here um, that we need to put a habitat in. It's not really big enough for the elephants. I think I'll put the elephants um, probably... Let me see if I can um, get out this view and I can show you. Um, I think I'll put the elephants behind this habitat, which is the lion habitat. I think I'll probably put them maybe over here or over here so that we can put the safari through it. Probably over here, I'm thinking, actually. Over there. Um, but we do need another animal to go here. So if you guys are watching this video, then please comment down below what animal you would like me to build you. And I will build you a habitat here uh, or somewhere else in the zoo if you need a uh, want an animal you need a bigger habitat than that so guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you, you've enjoyed this tour video if you have please give this video a like it really helps out the channel and consider subscribing so you don't miss any future episodes especially our indian elephant habitat habitat video which will be next and then our potentially our food court area we'll be doing and then again if you want me to build you a habitat please comment in down below what you would like me to do so thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, bye guys. Bye.